Pull. Pull. This is taken Pull. from the archives of some of the worst trials dealing with Africans Pull. in the United States throughout the history of the United States. Pull. This will be a mini-series on the Amistad case. The improbable voyage of the schooner Amistad and the court proceeding and diplomatic maneuvering that resulted from that voyage from one of the most significant stories in the 19th century. When Steven Spielberg chose the Amistad case as the subject of his 1997 feature film, he finally brought it the attention the case had long deserved but never received. The Amistad case energized the fledgling abolitionist movement and intensified conflict over slavery, prompted a former president to go before the Supreme Court and condemn the policies of a present administration, soured diplomatic relations between the United States and Spain for an entire generation, and create a wave of interest Christian missionaries to Africa. Let us begin. Two sea captains, Paletia Fordham and Henry Green, were shooting birds among the dunes at the eastern tip of Long Island on the morning of August 26, 1839, when they were startled to encounter four black men wearing only blankets. Once the blacks were assured through sign language that they were not in slave holding country, they led Fordham and Green to a point in the dunes where they could see a black schooner, flagless, with its sails and tatters, sitting at anchor a mile or so from the beach. Another small boat was on the beach, guarded by more black men many of whom were wearing necklaces and bracelets of gold doubloons. One of the black men, who appeared to be the leader of the group, told Fordham and Green that they were two trunks full of gold above the schooner, aboard the schooner, and that they would be given to whoever outfitted them with provisions and helped them sail back to Africa homeland. Green suggested that if they got the trunks, he would help them return to Africa. Green's and Fordham's dreams of riches were interrupted by a brig of the U.S. Coast Guard, the Washington, which intercepted the rowboat as it made its way back to the schooner. The commander of the, big, of the brig, Lieutenant Thomas Gidney, boarded the schooner and ordered at gunpoint all hands below the deck. Two Spaniards emerged from below. One was old, bearded, and sobbing. The other was a man in his mid-twenties. Jose Ruiz, the younger man, spoke English and eagerly began to tell the tale of mutiny, blood, deceit, and desperation above the Amasad. Tune in for the next episode of this series. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.